7.30 a.m. I had to put Boo back in his room around 2 o'clock in the morning because he was just making too much noise playing with all of his toys and I needed to get some sleep. This is what Stella is doing. She's laying outside of his gate, which makes me think that what I'd like to start doing is taking that gate away and maybe she'll lay right next to the door. I use the gate when I enter and exit the room. It's like a little corral outside of the door. So that way, you know, if he should um, wander outside of the door, he's still kind of corralled in there. and He's not going to jump right away and get over it. So this is the first time that I've seen Stella like just casually laying next to that gate. 7.40 a.m. Here is what the raw food looks like uh, the following morning. It was covered with uh, aluminum foil and it has defrosted nicely. So what I'm going to do now is cut these into bite-sized pieces for the cats and um, add their supplements. So here is what the container of cat grass looks like today. Um, it's starting to yellow on top and it's just not as fresh as it was. Um, it's like starting to wither. It could be maybe um, I haven't been watering it enough. I was away for the few the past few days and um, Or it could just be that cat grass doesn't last too long um, On its own like this right now. This is one of my favorite green powders for humans and um, Also for cats. Um, the reason why is it is only grass. It is barley grass wheat grass and alfalfa so many of the green supplements on the market are just so full of, you know, all kinds of different things. And um, I'm not really a fan of isolated chemistry. Isolated chemistry is when someone consumes, like, vitamin C instead of a piece of fruit that has vitamin C in it. Or instead of, like, an herb that might be high in vitamin C. So this is what I uh, put in their food. I have these little demi tasse spoons, and this is how much of the green powder I've been putting in. I mean, it's just a really small amount uh, because I'm figuring, like, in nature, let's think, in nature, if cats are out there eating grass, they're not eating big handfuls of grass. They're, you know, nibbling on it. Um, so how can we mimic that um, so it would be just a small amount of green powder. That's what I'm doing. Again, I'm not telling anybody what to do with their cats or how to do it. I'm merely documenting what I'm doing with my cats. Boo. You gotta be a good boy, okay? Just give me another five minutes. Another five minutes. Just be a, be a good boy, boo. I'm gonna be in there in five minutes. Okay, just calm down, and then I'll let you out, okay? Okay. These are Trader Joe's freeze-dried blueberries. They are unsweetened and unsulfured. The only ingredient is freeze-dried blueberries. Freeze-dried blueberries are different from dehydrated blueberries. Um, dehydrated blueberries tend to be uh, chewier, whereas freeze-dried blueberries are exactly that they're very dry um, so if you squeeze a freeze-dried blueberry um, they pretty much just turn into like a powder or they get pulverized so right now I took one freeze-dried blueberry I squeezed it onto each plate it made like blueberry powder um, so this is what the cats are getting for breakfast I also added some water around the food and um, this is not the cat's favorite food by any means this is the primal raw chicken and salmon nuggets and I usually uh, save these for last or save these for later then go back to eat these so I really don't expect them to chow into these right away good morning splashy good morning splashy how are you they ate all of the freeze-dried raw bites from last night as well as the dry food and there we have it three plates instead of three bowls and they're not eating it because I knew they wouldn't eat it because it's not their favorite food but they'll go back to it, and they'll eat it. I just gave Boo his food. He has absolutely no food left in this room. He ate it all. So, 
I'm gonna give him some new water. And then I'm gonna let him just roam the house uh, while I go downstairs and um, hit the treadmill. Now that the weather is getting colder right now, it's like less than 50 degrees out. I'm gonna start using indoor exercise machines again. So this is what he did with his interactive cat toy. He was playing with this last night for what had to be hours, and he plays with it really loudly. And at one point he flipped it over um, because this is hard plastic and you definitely hear it banging on the floor, you hear it banging against the doors, and um, yeah. So this is the one that has like a, a mouse inside of it and the mouse goes around. And Pooh loves it and I'm glad he loves it because none of the other cats really like it. And look, here's one of his uh, balls from that other grass box. Okay, so there's still one ball in the grass box. There's the other ball. I don't know where the third ball is. I have no idea. But I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Boo, eat your breakfast, boo. Go eat your breakfast, okay? Eat your breakfast, boo, okay? You got food there. Eat your food. Eat your food, boo. Okay? So I just realized that maybe Boo has finally figured out this toy because there's nothing in the toy. There's nothing in it. There were some uh, treats and dry food in it, but they're gone. So maybe he's figured out that toy. Boo, do you want to be brushed? Boo's very high maintenance. Boo likes me to spend so much time with him. But Boo, I got my own stuff to do, okay? It'll really be nice when I can integrate these cats. Okay, boo? Okay. There you go, boo. There you go, boo. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, boo. Have you guys noticed that when you see like black cat items and merchandise in stores, they always, they usually always show the cat with a pink nose. But it's very rare that black cats have pink noses. They usually have black noses. I don't know if you guys have realized that. Okay, now he's gonna eat, so now I'm gonna go downstairs. So Boo's had the run of the house for, I don't know, like an hour. And uh, I just picked him up and brought him back into his room. So he's open to just being picked up and carried like a cat. Then I sat down and uh, he's laying down next to me and I've been rubbing his tummy. And it was so funny because it reminded me so much of Splash when I rubbed Splash's tummy. So then I went to get the camera and of course, you know, then he has to move. Um, I wanted to try to get him to do it again, but I don't know, sometimes these cats act weird when the camera comes out. Boop. Okay, I have to go get ready for my day. Okay? Okay, boo. Good boy, boo. You're a good boy, boo. Okay. Okay. Who's laying in bed? Boo likes having his belly rubbed today. He's so soft. He is so crazy soft now. Hey, 
Boop. So I'm in Petco right now and um, I'm trying to buy the Instinct Raw Bites. They're completely out of the chicken ones and all they have is the rabbit ones and um, most of these bags I will not buy because when I squeeze them they are just one giant lump of raw food and when you do that that is an indication that it has been uh, thawed and refrozen and you never want that. You only want bags that when you squeeze them they're separate chunks like this solid this solid and then there's this this can be squeezed into separate chunks but there are some solid chunks in here. no this is all it's all squeezable so the other thing that you'll notice when you're dealing with raw food that is um, not really something you want to buy see how this bag is all puffed out so when the raw food inside starts to go bad and um, like decompose and ferment, it gives off gases and the gas is what uh, inflates this bag like that. So you never want to buy a bag that is inflated like that also. 12.45 p.m. I'm just getting back from PetSmart. There's Stella hanging out in the window. So this is my PetSmart haul today. I got five of these 1.25 pound bags of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw cat food. The cats love this. I got a new fresh container of wheatgrass, uh, cat grass. I have to learn how to take better care of wheatgrass. I also picked up two of these smaller, um, they're kind of like trial size, of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw uh, small breed dogs with superfoods. Um, the difference between the dog food and the cat food is the cat food has taurine in it because cats are carnivores and require taurine for their health, whereas dogs are omnivores and they don't require um, as much. So I don't want to feed my cats um, the dog food on a regular basis, but because this has superfoods in it um, and I feel like this is more nutritious because it does have more fruits and vegetables than the cat food. Um, I do sometimes like to sneak a few of these nuggets in just as kind of like an additional supplement. But again, this is just me. I'm not telling anyone else what to do. I'm just kind of describing what I do. Okay, so this is the difference between fresh wheatgrass and like wheatgrass that has not been properly taken care of over the past like week or two. Huge difference. I just gave the old one to Stella because she likes to chew on the grass. Maybe I'll just leave that on the kitchen floor today and uh, let them enjoy that. I was going to toss it, but you know, it, I'm sure it still has some nutrition in it. See how she's enjoying it? Now some people will say that that could give a cat an upset stomach and make them vomit. And in some cases it might, but I have not had that experience with any of these cats. It is 6.20 p.m. I just got back. I am going to feed Boo some dinner. They're having the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites, some dry food, and some of the wheatgrass. I'm also going to put some water on here. Simba is now enjoying the wheatgrass.
Now he's going to see who's meowing. Boo's meowing from the room. It is 6.21 p.m. and Boo did not eat his breakfast. Like he ate some of his breakfast, but he does not seem to like the uh, chicken and salmon nuggets. Okay, so I was going to bring out some food for Hydrox, but I don't see him anywhere. This is what is left from before. So he ate all the raw food, or someone ate all the raw food and left the canned food, but there's a lot of ants on that canned food. I hate ants. I don't want to put more food out and then just have the raccoons and skunks feasting on it. Simba is back to the cat grass. I'm just about to feed them dinner, but he's munching on the grass. I think they really miss munching on the grass outside. So I am definitely going to make sure that there's fresh cat grass available to them. Ideally, I'd like to start growing my own, but I've never had any luck with that. So this is what the downstairs cats did with their breakfast. Um, one plate was eaten, and the other two were barely touched. I don't think they really like the chicken and salmon too much either. There they are. They're eating their dinner. Simba is purring so loud. Splashes at the top of the stairs. Here he comes. Just once, I want to see all three of them eating off the plates at the same time. Like, I want one cat on each plate. He ripped that out of my hand. I was in Marshalls the other day and I saw this Halloween four-in-one laser toy for cats. So I thought I would buy it and see if the cats like it. I do have a laser toy for the cats, but um, it hasn't been working well recently. I think I need to change the batteries. But I saw this and I thought it could be interesting. Um, it has like a moon, a skull, a mouse, and a witch. I don't know if the cats are going to prefer one over the other, but it could be an interesting experiment to see if they do. This was $2.99 at Marshalls. It says it features five exciting laser images for your pet to chase. Simply switch the lens to change the image. And then it shows the laser aperture, on off button, batteries, cap, and then like a keychain. As with all lasers, avoid direct eye exposure. Okay, so this laser toy is a real pain to assemble. It was easy to take the back off and put the batteries in, 
but screwing the back section back onto this, I mean, it's just like jammed and it's not moving. So um, I'm not happy with that. And then this orange piece is like a soft plastic. So um, I'm not too thrilled with that either. Either that or it's a soft metal, but it feels like it's a soft plastic. Okay, so right now, can you see that? This is a moon. This is a skull. This one is the mouse. It's really hard to tell that this is a mouse though. And this one is the witch. Can you see the witch? Boo is sitting in the scratch and roll and watching me. Stella would not be happy with this. I feel bad that Stella has to be downstairs right now and that Boo is up here in the scratch and roll. I wish they all could be up here at the same time. Right, Boo? Right, Boo? Right? Boo, right? Right? I'm gonna use the moon. I like the moon. Wow, look how big it gets. This is the first time that Boo has ever played with a laser toy. When I've tried to use laser toys outside with him, he never had any interest. It's really weird. Even like outside in the dark, he never wanted to play with a laser toy. But once cats come inside, then they love laser toys. All these cats have to be related because every time I try to walk, they all stand in front of me. Like, I'm gonna trip on all of them. It is 7.47 p.m. I'm sitting here in the living room, working on my laptop, trying to edit tonight's video. And Boo has been hanging out with me. And uh, it's really, really funny because here's what he does. First he'll lay like here on the couch to the left of me. Then I'll like work on editing a video for a few minutes. And then he'll lay here on the couch to the right of me, like this. So he'll lay here and I'll edit like a few minutes of video and then he has to get up and walk across my lap and then he'll go and lay here. And then he does the same thing over and over and over again. And yes, I do have a tag on this pillow. I just got them a Tuesday morning, like the other day, and I haven't taken the tags off yet. Eight oh five PM. It is 8.47 p.m. and I'm still sitting here working on the video. I'm just about done. And Boo is a really good guard cat because there's like people outside on the street or something. And uh, every time Boo hears like a noise, he like pops his head up and he's like looking around. There's a laser pointer on the on the wheel. Let me go on it. It's a witch. The laser pointer is a witch.
Okay, check this out. So I got this extendable back scratcher from J Red, and look what it's perfect for. I could hang a toy on it and then use it to try to train the cats on this wheel. This is so cool. So I'm going to use the toy in one hand and then I am going to try to get them on the wheel with the other hand, which means I don't have a hand to film with. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, I found this roll of foam mounting tape. So I cut off a little piece of foam mounting tape and I stuck it to the wheel and I stuck a treat on it. And they've been watching the treat. <gasps> Look at Simba. Oh, he, see how smart they are? He got the treat off. I gotta put another treat on there. It's like 10.30 p.m. right now, and I just wanted to play with Boo a little bit before I go to bed. And uh, he is so much like Stella, it's not even funny. So I'm playing with him on the rug. I cleared the rug off, and uh, he's been playing with his feather toy, and he's jumping all around. And he jumps all around, and then he retreats back to the scratch and roll. And he just like sits there a while. Then he watches the toy, and then he jumps on it, and then he retreats back to the scratch and roll. That's exactly what Stella does, like exactly. The two of them are so much alike, it's crazy. 